Check. Hi. I'm on my match in the dark. 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 All right, coming up next, a UFC featherweight division fight. Alright, so here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them from the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next when the guy starts to defend he's truly truly something special i don't think he could take you down but tonight he doesn't have to so he does not in have this to. matchup prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the kings well you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time the great bruce lee making his walk to the octagon here tonight Jim. everybody wants to be bruce lee they say they want to be like mike if you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven foot Kareem at Jamar to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter. Make his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 136 pounds. Fighting out of Sao Paulo, Brazil, Big. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon. Lee! All right, give me the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so back your corners. <laughs> choking you out. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. All right, first round is underway here. We say in mixed martial arts, it's one thing to have the reach advantage. It's another thing to use it. We'll see if he can get that jab going to He him. has got to fight tall. He's got to stay at range, use his length to give his opponent problems, trying to bring the fight into a closer distance. And he lands the knee to the body now. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Back and forth we go. And he landed the right hand there. Nice punch by Lee. Oh, 
Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. the jab just out of range. Well, if you like Muay Thai striking, this might be your moment in this fight as he gets the title. This is a massive moment for this fighter. He's a great Muay Thai fighter. Look for him to go knee-knee and then try to land a big one to the head. He lands flush with that right hand. Lee gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can wrap. Liver kick. If you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. Leg kick. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Well, they've made all the right reads here tonight, and there's another one. Beautiful read on the leg strike as he catches it and then returns fire with a punch of his own. So they have got the timing down here at this point of the fight. Oh, wicked nice leg kick there, DC. Can't take too many of those. 10 seconds now to go in the round. Horn sounds for the end of round one. A lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1 level right? kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are going to really start to take their toll. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick, and watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length. Of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Lee going for the head kick. No dice. Nice punch, Lynn. Oh, that's a good right hand. And there comes the separation now. Lee gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. to the body. I mean, he's cutting him down the side. Oh! He's got him hurt here. Oh, he might be out. So holding on to him here, not doing a ton, perhaps just looking to recover. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to his bully. He throws his jab. He may flow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Liver kick. Ooh, big shot, man. Well done to block that powerful kick to the body. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Oh, he stunned him with that knee to the head. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Oh, yeah, right here. 
Oh, blocks that kick to the body. Nicely done. Gets the elbow up into the target. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to him. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Oh, beautiful straight left hand. Look at him drive his shin into his own body with that body. Ten, Ten minutes in the minutes books. In the A lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. All right, the action continues here and now as our next round gets underway. The previous round was a confused for a round of the year, but pretty good action. It was a pretty good round. Not every round is gonna have you standing up out of your seat. You understand that you are watching the highest level of fighting in the entire world in the UFC. Oh, he landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Lee going with the kick to the body. He's an outstanding kicker, but that attempt missed. Big knee lands right through the opponent's midsection. Big punch lands through the middle. Oh, and he caught the kick. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Did a great job of rotating him into an underhook. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Nice punch here. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Ooh, blocks the shot. Keep your hands up for me. Come on now. Let's move. Let's just misses with the straight left hand. Caught the kick. Jockey in for position here on the clinch. Both fighters trying to get a more dominant position. Just unable to quite find that range. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Nice punch lands over the top. Combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. 20 seconds to go. Right hand landed. Oh, nice jab to the head by Lee. Look at him. Look at him. Take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, really. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. Checks the leg kick. Well, you saw the tail of the tape. He has a reach advantage and made good use of it there with that punch.
He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Very nice outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. He's really driving his shin. In Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. like that one was blocked. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Oh, that kick is good by Lee. Signs of bruising now on that left thigh. Oh, beautiful strike there as he lands up top, and he does so right after catching the leg. So maybe you thought he would catch the leg. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you've got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop you got to defend. But you can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It starts to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Lee gets hit with a kick. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shots to the body connects, and that bears watching. That's gonna hurt this opponent. Good stick. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's gotta press him. He's gotta go chase that finish down now. Oh, straight right. All right, single collar tie now. Big kick. Switching stances here. Well, he is a tactician. He does not discriminate when it comes to his weapons. There's a side kick. That side kick can go to the legs or to the body. What a technique. Now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. You better protect that head. Great job securing the Muay Thai clinch. Watch for big knees to the body, and eventually him switch it up with a big knee to the head. All right, so a huge round for him there. Nearly had him out of there with the head kick. Did get the knockdown. Talk us through the replay. He got the knockdown. He won the round. He did everything correct. The only thing he didn't do is finish the fight. But if he continues down the path, if he continues to do the exact same thing as he did before, he will get that finish. Fifth and final round. Nice body kick right up the yoga. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Very nice leg kick there by Lee. Oh, collar tie. Ooh, big knee. Now a knee. Oh! Checks that leg kick. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Huge knee lands from in close. Right hook to the head block. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. How good is that right now? Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. And once again, looking for that highlight reel KO with that front kick. Oh, beautiful head movement. Slips there. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Back and forth we go! Oh! Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves to go finish the fight. Half guard here making these shots count. Late in the fight.
fight now, DC, the submission. And now he has a headlock trying to pin his opponent's bag down flat onto the mat. Look from the transition to an arm triangle to try to chase the finish. the arm to the side, get his head against the mat. Now watch as he goes to the finish, watch his chest go to the mat. He goes flat. He's gone, he's gone, he's gone, he's gone. Wow. All right, right in the side control, upper body strength figures to be put to good use here. Yes, absolutely. And you gotta look for his opponent to turn back into him. He should chase guillotine, but the opponent turns to the opposite side. He can take his back, throw his hooks in, try to choke, or flatten him out and just go for the finish. All right, so a lot to like over the distance of that fight tonight. Clearly, we think we saw one guy win the fight and largely got it done with the striking. Yeah, he got it done with the striking. And that's exactly what he's known for. He's known as a guy that's so comfortable whenever he's in the stand-up. And that showed tonight as he truly outworked his opponent. Looks like the official decision is in. Yes, here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 49-46. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, so there he is. The celebration is on. He tried to leave the judges out of it tonight. Was unable to do that, but a pretty dominant effort nonetheless. He's your winner by unanimous decision. And you've got to feel good about that. You've got to feel good about dominating every aspect of a fight and getting a victory. You should be very proud of his performance tonight.